Hey there, everybody, it's me, the Mean Minnow, and we're going to keep playing a little bit of Don't Starve. If you remember last time, we did some boring, some boring shit. We collected a bunch of the saplings, and we also were trying to figure out what the tall bird egg does. Well, I figured it out, you can hatch a tall, tall bird egg. I don't really know why you would want to, uh, besides being able to kill it and eat it. That's really the only thing that seems like it, that you can do useful with a tall bird egg. But I don't know. So uh, we're just going to eat it. That's pretty much it. Uh, actually, I don't even think she will eat it because she only eats meat. So we might be SOL when it comes to the tall bird egg. Uh, we are going to kind of quickly avoid these and uh, try to run back to our base. We have to go plant all the saplings uh, and uh, we need to do a bunch of other stuff. The other thing I want to do is explore more after we kind of get these planted. Uh, that will have us in a good spot to just go out and explore, try to find a couple of things. I, I didn't realize that this tall bird was back. I don't even know well, there's multiple tall birds. Well, luckily because we are Wigfrid, we can make short work of things like tall birds and not really have to worry about our health. And I needed the meat, so uh, I will take it. Right, well, here's the other one here. Oh, there's three. They must... I didn't know this about the tall birds. They must spawn because uh, I had killed all three that were here earlier. I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. Well, that was useful. We got another tall bird egg, which I'm just going to leave. I'm not even going to use it. All right, I have the meat. It's the most important thing that we could get for Wigfrid, because she is one picky bitch. That's the thing about her. And we do kind of need to uh, get back quickly. If you notice, my hungry hunger is kind of going up. In other good news, they released another update to Darkwood. A lot of you have been, like, literally begging. Uh, and this is a new channel, so that's pretty crazy. But I've been receiving a ton of messages from people asking me to play Darkwood because I mentioned it in one episode. And don't worry, we'll be playing plenty. It's an awesome game. And, and just today... They just released another update for it, and I'm kind of hoping that it fixes all the issues with uh, when it comes to Macs and, you know, other uh, things like that. I am going to be getting a gaming PC, probably, for this channel. That way I can uh, play a wider variety of games, um, and, you know, we'll have to see what happens there. But right now, let's try to get up here. I also, I need to make a ton of traps. We need to start catching a lot of these rabbits. We need to kind of trap, create a little trap line uh, out here for our meat. And I have never had that happen before. I don't know if you can see that, but every trap is set and there's a morsel underneath each one. I, I've never ever seen that happen. That's got to be some sort of glitch. I don't see how that is possible. Yeah, something weird happened. This is still hot. We were gone for days. And that's still, I, well, I guess if it's winter, if it's summer. I, I don't know. It's so weird. Never had that happen. Let's, uh, all right, hold on. get that. We're going to start a small fire. We don't want to waste too much stuff. We'll uh, cook this up and then we'll eat it all. It was starting to go bad anyway, so there's really no point in just trying to save it. Uh, okay, so we got a rabbit out of that as well. I'm going to quickly try and plant all of these. Doesn't need to be perfect. Let's 
my one thing that I don't like about this game necessarily is not being able. It's hard. It, it does exactly what just happened. It does every once in a while. It won't drop on an exact line, so it creates these like curved lines, which I guess if you're OCD would drive you absolutely nuts. But it's not that big of a deal in my mind. But it is annoying that it's so hard to plant things just like straight. As you can see, this is already all messed up. We're going to try to straighten this out just a little bit. Okay. Well, where did that other stack go? Here, well, we'll just start. Doesn't matter. <coughs> okay. Yeah. We're really messing this up, but uh, when that happens, it drives me crazy. You would think that they would make it easier to just plant in a row. But I think here, total, I think this is going to be, I think we have about, because we already had some down, I think we're somewhere probably around 60 or so saplings. It's a good amount. It, it'll, uh, you know, definitely puts a dent in uh, the normal amount that I like to have, which is like 200. Which sounds like a lot to some people, but when you consider the fact that pretty much everything requires saplings and you need fires constantly and you gotta build jerky drying racks and all this other stuff it really doesn't it doesn't go very far but having them this close by definitely helps they'll, they'll all kind of spring up at the same time that takes care of that that wasn't too bad didn't take too long and let's see here. Luckily, our meat did not go bad at all while we were gone. That's really good. All right, so what? We need a bunch of rope. We're going to build at least, let's see. can't remember how much do jerky racks cost. Oh, and we got lucky. We got a full moon. So we can work through the night. I really shouldn't have put that there, but um, that's all right. I think we should be able to build at least, yeah, one more jerky rack. We'll, we'll do that. Uh, I would prefer to have, you know, probably a lot more than that. But for right now, we'll kind of just deal with what we got. Pop that up there. We do need to eat something, so we do kind of need to get some food cooking here. What do we have in here that we could use? That's a waste of a space. We're going to, we'll take these with us. That we can put in there. We can put our hound's tooth in there. We can build a tooth trap, but we're not going to do that right yet. We have plenty of wood. All right. So that will give us, well, let's cook the rest of this off. 
really no point in saving it. We'll come back and we'll... Ugh, and of course the fire just ran out. Alright, so let's go exploring. I think we, we should have um, at least one more day here, uh, full moon. So we can stay out all night and not have to worry about it. We'll just have to watch out for the were pigs. But even the were pigs are no match for Wigfrid. We'll be able to take them out really quickly. Don't really have to worry about much with her other than deer clops. But it's not winter just yet. I'm gonna, every time I go out, I try to at least get a stack of everything. Except if I already have a stack like this of the twigs, then I just leave it. I do want to at some point collect a bunch of these houses. I want to bust them all down and then I want to build a circle of them up out by those beefalo at least. Although, that, that is kind of a dangerous move because they will eat the beefalo meat if, you know, I kill a beefalo or something like that. I'm going to plant these so the tree gods don't get pissed off. Alright, which direction should we go? Oh, well, let's follow this road straight out of here. See where it goes. We're looking for a desert the desert biome, something like that. If we could find the desert biome, that would be awesome. And, oh my god. I almost think that we shouldn't even leave this spot. At at nighttime, <coughs> this is where Glomer will, um, will appear un under a full moon. And that is, Glomer is how you build the old bell which is, I believe, the most powerful weapon in this game. And the old bell, it, it has, like, it, it drops these two huge, like, lizard legs. At least that's what they look like to me. And um, they do massive amounts of damage. It's, like, one of the only, it's one of the fastest ways to beat uh, deer clops. Um, so I, I'm thinking I'm going to stay right here. It's pretty close by. And of course, I can't just find, oh, well, there's one, two, we got over there. I'm looking for just like a cluster of pigmen. Oh, here we go. This is pretty interesting. Well, they're about to all turn into were pigs, but I will take all of their stuff. We're going to just remember this place on the map. We're going to come through here. Oh, look, look, there's a bunch of grass for us. I bet you the pig king is pretty close by. Alright, so uh, when it's not a full moon, we're going to come back and we are going to uh, knock all those houses down and, and take those pig houses and move them a little bit closer. We're also going to stay right here. And we're going to wait for Glomer. I'm really hoping... Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that it happens at night, although I could be wrong. I think there's like, there's something that says Glomer's Flower, or something like that. I think that's what's supposed to happen. I don't know. Oh, you know what, though? I'm not sure what, it may, Glomer might not come around in summer. I think we're in summer, and that... Might, it might not happen. I don't know. Let's find out. Because I do think that Glomer, when it is active, even if it's not nighttime, I think um, is still active during the day. I don't think that really matters. We got like a little mole worm right here. It's good to know if you if you ever, if you're ever playing Wigfred and you run out of meat, noticing where the mole worms are. That's a great way to survive. You can just drop flint on the ground. They'll come and try to take it. You just hit them with an axe or uh, a hammer, and you'll that'll give you plenty of meat. 
not plenty, but could mean the difference between surviving and not surviving. So we're just going to wait right here for this to happen. For Glomer. First time I saw Glomer, didn't even know that what it, what Glomer was. Didn't even know that it was part of the game, but when I first saw Glomer, I freaked out. Thought it was so cool. I was a weird kid when I was a kid, and I loved bugs. And, uh, yeah, so that's probably why I like Glomer. So weird. So weird. I don't know. I feel like probably a bunch of gamers out there were probably pretty weird kids. I don't know. Isn't everybody weird, though? I feel like that's kind of the story of everyone's life. And there we go. We got so lucky. This is awesome. I love it. So if we pick that flower, now with that flower, Glomer will follow us around, which is so awesome. And then what we need to do is we need to craft this. We need to knock this down. That right there is the blueprint to make the old bell, and which we, we have to kill Glomer to, uh, to do that. Glomer is basically um, a passive mob. I don't think that it won't uh, attack you or anything, and even when you attack it, Glomer remains passive. It won't uh, try to do any damage to you. Uh, I'm trying to stay away. Because right up there, you can see, is the were pig. We have a chance to go. Got scared there for a second. But what I was going to say is we have a chance here to go try to track down a colophon. Normally don't do this. I, I, I don't care. Like I said, in the winter, I can usually survive without a breezy vest or any of that crap. I just use the, st the thermal stone and a beefalo hat. And uh, for the most part, I, I don't have any issues. It's fine. It works. Uh, that's that. Don't, you know, it's never been a problem. But they do provide some meat. And, I mean, we might be screwed here anyway, because without, um, without a boomerang or something like that, it's going to be kind of hard to chase the colophon, unless it's up here, which it might be in a corner that would be awesome, because if we can just get them trapped in a corner, then we'll just take it out. That's simple as that. We can chase them right into a corner. Quiet, the creature is near. Well, where the hell is it? And are we going to get it into a corner? I don't know. thought I was going to get a hit off on him that time, too. Uh, where the heck are we? And we found one of those places where we can revive. And this is how the trick with the colophons. If you can get them uh, up into a corner, you kind of have to try to stay south of them. And, uh, oh man, we almost had it. Oh, that's so annoying. Sometimes they can always just kind of get away. I'm not going to waste too much time trying to chase this stupid thing down. The best thing to do is to run out and then in like this. And you can see there we got him into a corner. And from here we can just tank the crap out of him. And we got very, oh wait, never mind. I was going to say we got very lucky there because uh, I, I thought for a second that I lost my helmet. Like I've said before... She takes a lot of damage um, when you don't have... Uh, oh my god, I'm going to do that every single Let's Play. I'm just warning you. I'm going to click off my screen every single time. I'm going to take a little bit of bones. I'm, I'm looking for... Usually there's a place where hounds spawn. Or sometimes if you hit these things... 
you'll get a hound's tooth because the hounds will uh, attack those things, but not that time. So we're going to run back to base. Actually, I'm going to munch on this real quick. There we go. How far away are we? Actually, pretty far away. Oh, it's good to know what was that. Oh, it was a frog. Whoa, look at this. I've never seen a ring of mushrooms like that. I wonder what that is. I have to look that one up. Uh, so now it's important that we get back. I hate when it rains frogs. I thought that's what was going to happen. The, uh, the frog rain is really difficult to beat, especially uh, and for any player. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter if you're Wigfred. It doesn't matter who you are. Uh, the frog rain is so difficult. I know that I'm going to need spider silk. Uh, a warrior spider, of course. This is the thing about Wigfred. You can pretty much just take everything out and not even have to worry about uh, damage. I'm going to go destroy this nest. That should give me enough to build the vest. Like I said, I don't usually build the vest, but if I have the, um, if I have the materials, uh, you know, I'll, build, I'll create one. Uh, you know, I don't actively hunt the colophons, even though they do drop a, a ton of meat, as you just saw there. I mean, eight uh, meat is pretty, pretty good. That's, um, you know, that'll hold us for a while. Um... But, like I said, I don't normally, like, try to actively hunt them. In winter I can, but it's just not something that I like to do. It's boring. Man, that trap up there sucks. It never catches anything. And it's raining, so we're not going to be able to get anything. You can take the flower, and you can just drop it, and Glomer will stay pretty much right by it. It won't, it won't leave as long as the flower's there. It'll just stay there. And then we can build the old bell whenever we want that's part of the great thing. Uh, oh man, we do need to go get more wood. We need to get wood because I'm going to need to build another chest. So thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play Don't Starve. I will see you in the next episode.